This is the April 2013 medium size bark box. Um, I'm about halfway through the year in my subscription and I am completely happy with everything that I've been receiving as is my dog major. So let's dig right in. Inside everything is packed nicely as usual and as you can see Major's excited about uh, what's inside. So well, why don't we go for the first thing on top that she's sniffing. And it is a giant rope toy. She is going to love these things because she likes to tear them apart. She pulls out the threading and chews and swings her head and totally loves these things. So this is the multi-pet Nuts for, nuts for Knots Rope, uh, Keeping Teeth Healthy. It's by Pets Just Want to Have Fun. So this is a pretty good size. As you can see there, we've got these really giant knots on the ends. And it's really well made. Um, I love the colors too. It's like a really nice green, yellow, perfect for springtime. Keep my dog fashionable, those sorts of things. So that's our first toy there. Let's see what toy number two is. Oh, this one's actually a treat. So this is by Barkworthy's. It's um, it's one of those chewable bones with the filling on the inside that the dogs can uh, kind of chew and lick out. It says, um, free range, grass fed, all natural, encourages healthy chewing. Um, the ingredients are quite simple. Beef shin, brown rice, beef pizzle, and natural binder. So, kind of look on the inside there, and the other side. Obviously, she really wants to dig into this one, but I'm going to make her wait until after we're done with the box. Okay, this next one here. Etta says, roasted duck jerky. 100% all natural, high protein, no grass, or I'm sorry, no grains. Uh, great for skin and coat. Duck, duck treat. It's actually quite cute with the, uh, with the pup there on the flag on it. Let's see, the ingredients are duck, turkey, potato flour, pea protein, chicken, tapioca, starch, glycerin, pea flour, sorbitol, pinto beans, pork gelatin, potato starch, salt, soy, lectin, phosphoric acid, potassium sorbate, citric acid, caramel color, mixed, a word I can't say, and rosemary extract. So a lot more ingredients actually than what I'm used to getting in the bark box stuff. Um, most of the bark box stuff that I've received so far has all been single to maybe three or four ingredients. So um, we'll see if Major likes these. That would be a yes. And again, it's, uh, Etta says duck jerky. This is crunchy duck chews, also from Etta says. This one is more of um, so the the other ones here are a little skinnier and um, kind of more ropeish, I guess. And this one that's in the package here, it's kind of hard to get this one to focus. There we go. Um, this reminds me of those Slim Jims, you know, the ones that are shrink wrapped in the package like this that you get at gas stations. Uh, but anyway, it looks like it's probably going to be about the same flavor, only this one is, um, this one's hard, whereas this other one is nice and pliable and flexible. So, two things from Etta says. This here is, looks like it's a sample of, uh, Lix liquid vitamin drink supplement, 100% all natural joint and heart. Administer with eight ounces of water, four ounces of pet food, or directly to the pooch. So, looks like it's just sort of an additive supplement that you can add to um, your dog's food bowl or their water bowl uh, for some extra vitamins, similar to like emergency or something we would take as adults. And then this last thing, uh, Groom Mitt, the Easy Clean Bath Mitt. Uh, eight by seven, fresh scent, 100% biodegradable mitt, restores skin moisture, keeps coat shining clean, no after bath cleanup, and no after bath shakes. So I absolutely love these cleaning things. Um, I actually buy similar ones already. I have never seen this particular type though, which looks pretty cool. Um, it's, if you can kind of see this picture here, 
it's a mitt that you put on your hand and it actually slides over your hand. Um, and then you can sort of clean up your dog's fur or their paws or whatever. The ones I buy are, are just kind of like those cleaning wipes that you don't put over your hand. Um, but uh, this sounds a lot, a lot cooler because uh, they're full on mitts. So I'm going to open this up and just so we can see. So on first impression it's really nice and thick, very moist. And let's see, where do we put the, uh, aha, there we go. Goes on just like a nice mitt. She doesn't mind this too much, but uh, yeah, it makes it really easy and actually it feels really nice in the fur. I mean, I don't know if she, how she feels about that, but. And that is the bark box for April 2013. Thanks for watching.